Hello there and welcome to today's class. For today, we're trying to draw the auxiliary um, projection right, of the given figure below, as you can see at the right hand side of the screen. So, first task to draw or perhaps to, to um, draw the auxiliary projection of this um, stuff here. My first task here is to reproduce out the figure, as you can see. So my first task here is to construct what I'm seeing at the right hand side of the screen. So first task is to draw a horizontal line, as you can see in this case. When you are done drawing your horizontal line, what next? My next task there, obviously, is to measure out the base that is given to be 50. So from here to here is 50, as you can see. Um, let's, let me pick a point here. Let me call this point then I'll measure 50 so this is 50 I will take in this point here from here to here is 50 right I'm done with my first tax there 50 next tax is that if you observe that the figure um, is projected at, at an height so I'll take this one project it upward right similarly come to this side here project it upwards right such that the height of this um, big figure there is what 40 so measure 40 at this point here so from here to here per se is 40 so from here somewhere here is 40 i'll thicken it because it is sticking from the question right next step is to close it up in this way using my um T square, right? I'll close this part this way with a thick line such that I will close this end part here. So I have what I am having at the base, right? So I have this. All right. Um, what's my next tax? Obviously, my next tax is to produce out the um this elevation. The plan is one up here. So I'll try to produce out the plan, right? So first tax is to uh, measure out 10 as in this case so from year to year from year to year is 10 half of 10 is 5 at this point here and this is for 10 here so it means that i'm going to draw my reference line this center here this line here with my what reference line here with my reference line next task is that um, i'm having this one as the base of the um of the other um plan right next task is that there's an upward of 20 from the plan so I measure 20 from here to here is obviously 20 such that i will take a line inward this way right so my next task is that observe from the elevation there's a um line at the center so that line will be at a point of 20 so this is from here to here is 20 so it means that i'm going to draw a vertical straight line that is from here i'll draw a faint line here upward this way such that i will take in this part here right so therefore i'll try to close this one with this part here right my next task there is that the entire height here is going to be 40 so measure 40 that is from here to here 40 all right 40 and i'll take in it and 40 there next task is to close it with this right and um, this is my t square to close this part finally so my first task is to watch Reproduce out what I'm having at the right hand side of the screen, which we have successfully done now, right? So, what's our next task here? Our next task here is to project this at an angle of what 60 degree. So, I'll take my T square this way at 60 degree. So, take it this way. This is obviously 60 degree from here to here is 60 degree right so it means that if i project here with 60 degree 
I'll project each point with what 30 degrees this way. So it means let's say here is one, here is two, here is three, here is four, here is five, and here is six. Let me call your point A, B, C, D, E, and finally F. So I'll come to point one, project it this way, right? Four, project it down. Next up, six, project six, two, project point two, three, project point three, five, I'll project point five in this way, right? As you can see what I am doing in front of you. All right, from here, what is obviously my next task? My next task is to work with my compass. Right, this is my compass here. So watch the procedure, it's quite simple. I'll take, this is my reference line here, this one. So come to uh, my reference line here, to point A. So to point A, from here to A, as you can see, from here to A, right? So come to two and mark A here. Come to two, mark A. Come to one and mark that same A. So I'll call this point here. I'll call it two A. I'll call here one A. Right. Similarly, for my reference point here, go to B. Come to two, mark two, mark B. Call it two B. Two B. Come to one and uh, mark this point here. Call it one B. 1b i'm done with that right next start is go to this reference point at this point here mark d i'll come to d and mark d right i'll come to d and mark d here such that move to point three trace it down here i'll call this d3 this is my what my d I have 3d from here to here is 3D. Go to 4. Mark 4D. This is my what? My point 4D. Next stop, um, I've come to um, 3. I've, sorry, this reference point to D, I've marked 3 and 4. This reference point again to C, to mark 3. So this will become 3C. In this case, becomes 3C. Next up, come to 4 and mark 4 here. Becomes, this becomes 4C. Right? So, I haven't gotten my 3C and 4C. Move to the next reference point here. Move it to F. So, with F, go to 5. Mark 5F. Five that becomes 5F. Five 5F, five right? Um, I've got a 5F. Next, I'll move to 6 to get 6F. From here, I'll get my 6F at this point. Next up, um, this reference point, I'm, this reference point here, I move it to F. Similarly, move it to E now. At point E, move it to 5 to get 5E. So here becomes my 5E. Similarly, um, at this point F, 6, because E and F are at point 5 and 6, so move to 6 to get um, 5, what there? 5, uh, this is 5E. So from, observe that from this one to here, move to 5E, here becomes 6E. Here becomes 6E, right? 6E. So I'm done. Uh, what's my, my, my next task? My next task now is to work with my meter rule, right? So my ruler, I'll simply join A, F, A, F together in this sense. Observe. Why am I joining A, F, A, F together? Because A and F are together, are linked together. Next up, um, observe that E, D, E, D. I'm seeing E and D are linked together. I will join them together this way similarly c and b this is c and b they are linked together i'll connect c and b 
together. I have this. Next up, observe that E and F, E and F are together. I'll close them up. Next up, um, I can see that I can see C and D. Look at C and D. They are linked together. I'll close this part here up to right a and b are together a and b are linked together i'll link this part here to together right i have this what's my next tax obviously from here i'll try to observe c and d check am c and d are linked so i'll link this part here together to link this part here together so i have this similarly what's my next tax observe that i'm having line b and a left but line b and a are inside so i'll use what eating line i'll use eating line a dash 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 we call this eating line in technical drawing so this is what we are asked to produce so if you found this class helpful do not forget to click on the subscription button and like. Thank you. Welcome to WiseLink Academy. Thanks for watching. You can, if you find this class um, helpful, you can actually share this class or perhaps video to your friends and classmates. Thank you. Welcome to WiseLink Academy.